Hey everyone, Tim Weezy here, and today I'm here to show off a best of three I had with a good friend, Alex Collins, also known as Nerd. Now you can see by his trainer, his trainer name, and I'll put in his, I'll put his team description below if you want to put his Twitter link in the description below. If you want to check him out? He's a really cool dude and a really good friend. So it's awesome he agreed to do this. We're gonna get right into the battle. I used a team of Tapu Coco, Celestial, so Garchomp, and Tapu Fini in this game. He used Porygon 2, Arcanine, Muck, and Cartana. We're gonna hop right into the battle once that score you see. Gonna kinda hop right into this. Let's see what he leads. So he's gonna lead pouring onto an Arcanine. And I decided to lead with Coco and Celestil. I like that lead. And it, it felt like a pretty decent lead. I could Thunderbolt the Arcanine and if I switch into something like Tahu Fini then then um that, that that works out in my favor a lot. But he's gonna get the attack increase. He's gonna get the attack with the intimidate. And Horian 2 is gonna get a download of special attack increase, so that's gonna work out pretty well. So he's gonna he's gonna withdraw his Arcanine and goes into Muck. So this is pretty this is a pretty simple trick and play. I tried to just protect with self still. I wasn't sure what that was gonna do. And I'll get a Thunderbolt into the Muck, which does a lot of damage. It's the para which that would be good if he wasn't gonna set up the trick room and take a life orb coil. Like I said, that would be good if he wasn't gonna set up the trick room, but because he is going to set up trick room with Muck, gonna get the figure gonna set up the um the trick room, which is gonna be very much in the way. I have Telpafini in that back and Garchomp, which isn't exactly good against these two, so that's gonna be really annoying, but he's gonna end up with the Abnacogo. And I'm gonna lose Coco, which makes dealing with um let me dealing with his mod a little more annoying. He's gonna get the ice beam and my play was the heavy slam into actually I wanted the leash sheet. Yeah I forgot. I'll yeah I'll leash sheet into P2 for the um residual damage. He can recover, but get that residual damage can make Celestilla easier and easier threat to deal with. And it can make Celestilla's life on his battlefield easier. He is going to So in response to that, in response to that, I just bring a top of Fini. I'm okay with. I had kind of had to choose. I had guard jump in the back, like I said, but guard jump doesn't want to take an ice beam, and got special dagger creatures which is annoying. So I decided I want to pick my battle. I'll bring in top of Fini because it can muddy water. Because top of Fini is much stronger, and he goes for an ice beam, into Cell of Silla. and that's gonna do a decent. Amount. I wanted the heavy slam, but my Cell of Silla got frozen and. And that was not fun because now I can't heavy slam that muck. And it makes dealing with his mods a lot harder. But I can get the muddy water with Tapu Fini. You can do a decent amount. Get the accuracy drop on muck. Porygon 2 doesn't get an accuracy drop. And when they hit it with leftovers and leash sheet, which is that cell still is gaining a lot of HP each turn. Which and make it easier to do it as you kind of have to just bop it with a one hit KO move, which is you don't have the network to my favorite. So that's what we're gonna do. He is going to actually gonna I'm just back with Tapu Fini, hoping he goes for another poison jab into Tapu Fini, and I attempt to have his land. He's gonna go for the ice beam and the cell steal. It's gonna move it down from 169 to 118, which is gonna do a decent amount, and I get frozen again. But as you can see, like look, leftover heals me from 118 to 130. Leash Seed heals me from 130. Of, like, Portion 2 is taking a lot of HP down. 130 to 154. So I'm losing roughly 9. I'm losing about 14 points of HP each turn. And I'm going to faint to a poison drug. So if Cell still didn't get it frozen, I could have heavy slammed that Muck. Muck would have been long gone. It would have made dealing with it made Top of Fini much better. And I'm still frozen. 154 to 166. And 166 all the way up to 109. So Cell still is almost at full HP. One more turn of not losing any HP, and I'll be at full. Pretty comfortably. And I decided to just bring in Guard Chomp. I thought, you know, I'm not a trick or more off. I'm going to go for the earthquake. 
maybe I can, like, I'll go for the earthquake, knock out Muck. If Cell still on Thaws, I can heavy slam it. But Cell still is still frozen. Terrific. And that's fun. Because now I'm losing Ice Beam. And he has Arcanine, he has Arcanine in the back, which means that, um, means that it's just essentially over. And I'm at full HP. P2 still losing leftovers, but Cell still is just kind of almost is able to just stay at full HP, which is really cool. But that's going to help out a lot. And that's going to do a lot, so that's helpful. It's going to bring an Argonaut get the Intimidate, so now Heavy Slam is doing even less than it already would have. And he just go for a Flare Blitz. And do a lot of damage. Going to go right into Cell still. Going to be right back to 27. I am able to one thaw, which is great. And I do just uh you know let's just leash seat this this Arcanon. You know, if I can survive an ice this will help. Can weaken him a little bit, but I'm gonna faint to the uh, to the leash seat, so we do lose game one, so question is can we come back and pull off a game two comeback win? See, because I'm gonna pull right into game two. So looking going into game two he brought the same four. But I decided I want to switch. Is that it? Yeah, I want to switch Muck in for Porygon 2. Because, obviously, you know, I can knock off the Porygon 2. And it's going to help out a lot. And I have something special on Muck that I did that I wanted to do. Actually, it's the right battle. I believe this is the right battle. Please tell me it is. That's, yeah, that's, that's the very much in command if it isn't. He's going to lead P2 Arcanaut. Yeah, this is the right battle. So I'm going to lead Muck and Porygon to him from my side. And I decide, you know, he might decide to set a trick room. I have Garchomp in the back. I want Garchomp and Tabu Fini to have the best chance of succeeding. I get the attack increase. And he gets an attack increase. So we'll get the attack increase. I decide, you know, I'm just going to taunt that Muck. That, that, that P2. If I lose a hit, like, you know, if I live the Inferno Overdrive, I'll taunt it. I'll be bulky enough to where I can live it. I'll get the Figgy Bear Recoil so I can taunt it. And I can knock it off next turn under Trick Room. It can knock it off next turn. I can knock it off next turn and I'll be good. But, and I'm going to take the Inferno Overdrive. And do so much damage. I thought it's like, that's, is that just raw damage? No, that's a critical hit. And I lost my muck. That means I can't Trick Room. And I go for Return and... I didn't realize this after the battle, and this is not good because it cost me a lot. Because my my Porygon two is not very happy. I think it's the easiest way to put it. No, it's not very happy. If it was, that would be much better because then Return will do much more damage. And I'm gonna get the I'm gonna protect, you know. He goes for the ice beam, I decided, you know. Yeah. I don't know what I did here. I don't know what I was thinking at this point. I really don't. You know, I'm gonna I think it will switch out into Finny. Not switch out into Cell still. Because I trust Cell still much more. And I have Finny in the back. And I thought I'm just gonna go for the ice beam and to his Cartana slot and I'll get a decent amount of damage. I believe he was self us. Not 100%, don't quote me on that, but I believe he's the assault with Rune. And I'm gonna switch into it. He goes for a Sacred Sword, so. Into my Porygon, too. So I'm not. Porygon, too, not doing too well, but. I get left those recoil. So I still came in relatively free. I can. Flamethrower next turn, but what I should have known. But I should have known that, you know, Flamethrower on Carton on Cell's still much more common. So it's a little much more common. I think this is like common knowledge at that point. But it is common knowledge. Most, most of them drop this up too for the flame doors that deal with Carcana. It's going to go for the frustration. I live on 9. I decide. Let me just recover up. I'll gain the HP. I'll gain the HP. This will put me in a good position. I'll just go for f And this conf I'm assuming this confirms the suspicion of whether or not I have the flame door attack. I wish it did because I do not have it. And Arcanine. And he's going for the Ice Beam. Into Cell Still. And no freeze this time because Cell Still actually liked me. And I'm going to go for Leash Seed. 
and he goes for the flare blitz. And there wasn't much I could do at that point, and might as well just leash it at that point. I thought before you need the back so I can muddy water. Which if if I played my cards right, I believe that's what I was going for. I set up the trick him. Actually, I set up the trick him to reverse it back to normal so I can guard jump. Which is a smart play on my end. I am glad I made that play. He switches out Arcanine. Do I call that play? I don't remember. I had the battle a couple days ago. Do I? I do call that play. That's good on me. No, that's good on me. I called that play. No, I feel good. I called that play. And he goes for an ice cream with P2 into my guard chunk. And I do faint to it. But I feel good that I caught that play. It was much it was very much helpful. And still still not knowing at that time that my Porygon 2 wasn't very happy. He brings them up and I bring a type of feeding. Actually no I don't. And at this point I decided, you know, this battle's not in my favor. Ooh, let me just recover spam. Let's see how well this works. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, you can't all have. Let's see how long Porygon 2 can survive. And I said I'm just gonna recover spam. No poison job. He lost with the poison job. I don't get to recover spam as well. I only get to do it one turn, but you know, one turn is all you need. And I lost to two of them. So I was calling those numbers right now. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please follow him on Twitter. I'll put his Twitter link in the description below. You can check out that and I will see you guys next time in the next upload. Uh, which is a best of three again. Someone really cool, so I hope you enjoy that tomorrow. So